Dynasty Trades in 5, guys. We are talking about Garrett Wilson tonight. We got a 12-team Superflex PPR 1.75 tight end premium start 10. Scott, are you going Garrett Wilson or Tank Dell in the 112? Go ahead, man. Ooh, I like this trade from a, if you need assets standpoint, I'm okay making the bet of Tank Dell versus Garrett Wilson, both being within a startable threshold in a start 10. But I think what we'll talk about later on, I'll take Garrett Wilson here. I think I have more flexibility with him. I think I can go get different types of pieces with him if I'm willing to trade him. I think this is a settling a little bit. So I will pass on that. I'll keep Garrett Wilson here. Shane, where are you at? As someone that has to settle frequently in his life, uh, <laughs> mostly on the dates I go on, um, like, all right, I guess this is the best I can do. We're going out. Yeah, this does feel like settling. <clears throat> um, so now I don't want to give up Garrett Wilson for tank down the 112. Garrett Wilson, if I'm going to trade him, this isn't the type of deal I'm making. Um, even if I want to split the asset, I don't feel like this is enough. What if it's 108? What if it's 108? And let's just say it's Roma Dunze. Tank Dell and Roma Dunze or Garrett Wilson. Well, Mannequin Show, we just did one. We did a one round mock and we talk about the 108 being that tier break where I think if you're in that range, that pick may be a little more desirable than the 109 through 112. So I'm okay, I'm okay with doing it with the 108 because I think that's a strongest second of strong second piece where I can go do something with either one, either Tank Dell or the 108. Right. And I feel a little bit better. I feel like the 112 is one of those picks right now where even if there's a couple players that pop at the combine, it's still not going to be a pick where people are like, I have to have that 112. It feels more like a placeholder. 108, I can be a lot more dangerous with. Okay. So let's talk Garrett Wilson. Actionable advice. I don't know if it's just me, but community sentiment seems down, if anything, on him, yet he's still what wide receiver seven on KTC. You're opening your eyes, but I don't know. I, I hear hate more than more than love. I feel like I heard you, Scott, say that Drake London and Garrett Wilson are the same thing earlier. Did I mishear you? No, I think they're the same thing mm. from if you look at any metric you can possibly look at, they're the same thing. Uh, if you go over our Trinity tracker, they're very similar through two years. Uh, we could go on a long, long time about this topic, but it feels like right now Garrett Wilson going off the board like wide receiver five or six in underdog in best ball leagues and dynasties wide receiver seven. Drake London's down at like 14 or 15. And the difference is we know Garrett Wilson's situation, but is it that good? You have Aaron Rodgers coming off Achilles injury and he has a Nathaniel Hackett offense. Yet we're scared of Drake yeah. London's offense of it's completely wide open. We have known nothing about their offensive coordinator other than where he came from. So I think there's just a gap that exists. Now, could the Falcons go, we're going to go with Desmond Ritter and somebody else, and it'd be a train wreck and people are pissed again at Falcons weapons? Yes. But it could also be we're signing Kirk Cousins, and then you go, well, they are the same thing. They have the same type of quarterback, same type of efficiency from their QBs. So I just think there's a gap that shouldn't exist given their profiles, that ex what they've done through two years. Shane, where's your head at on Garrett Wilson, man? He he's an interesting uh, what's the word I'm looking for? An interesting. I don't know what the fuck the word I'm looking for is. So he's just interesting. I, I've tried to buy him. Um, I've tried to trade him in league teams I have him on, and I can't make a move with him because I feel like everyone is in this sense of well, I don't know what to do with him. What he's going to be? He definitely is. He gets more hype than. Drake London and more hype than Chris Olave. And Chris Olave is really the interesting one to me, not Drake London so much, but that's interesting too. Chris Olave easily uh, bettered Garrett Wilson in their sophomore seasons by two points a game, full two points a game. But people still talk about Chris Olave somehow as being below Garrett Wilson. The threshold because, wide receiver. Because he's going to get Aaron Rodgers back, like Scott said. It, it's funny because the people that tell you that's why they like him better don't mention that. Well, Aaron Rodgers is likely not to play many more years. Um, he is a 66 year old man coming off an Achilles. Um, I don't expect great things from him. Uh, all that said, I, I, I don't know. I, I'd be looking to sell Garrett Wilson at his current price. If someone's willing to give me wide receiver seven prices for him, pay for that. Yeah, I would, I would move him. I, I think Shane hit the nail on the head. Here's how to look at it. Garrett Wilson is highly valued, higher valued than Drake London and Chris Olave, right? but he's at the top of the tier where you don't want to pick. Right. 
So you want to go, ah, oh, man, I really don't want to take a receiver at 110, but Garrett Wilson is the next guy up. I'm talking like underdog or FFPC, like wide receiver five or six. Ugh, I don't know. Same with Dynasty. Wide receiver five in a startup. Wide receiver six in a startup. I don't feel great about that, but you'd prefer him over the others. But it almost feels like, can I trade back and get something and then I'm willing to take Drake London plus or Chris Olave plus. So he's at the top of a tier that's not in the elite tier. So I don't want to make the first pick there. I'd rather make the, the picks behind it and get a two for one or some of the deals yeah. we talked about tonight. So super fast here in a 1.75 tight end premium McBride or Garrett Wilson right now. I still think I'd take Wilson again, the asset power, the buying H -N. power. HN. HN. Closer, but I, I'd still lean Wilson. I think there's a chance I get more for him.